to my dearest great-grandchild. In all the years I lived in this great manor, I discovered the answers to many mysteries that have tested my faith and helped me believe in things I cannot see. Now it's your turn to solve them for yourself. I've enclosed the first of many clues. If you so choose to follow it, you too will unlock the greatest mysteries of all time. I am excited for what you will soon find. All my love, Great Grandpa Piffpaff. God made everything that I see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me well, I know, I know God made everything that I see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me well, I know, I know My faith is in you I know that you are true You can't see it, but 
you have to have the confidence to believe in what you can't see. An invisible reward? That's preposterous. Nope, it must be money or treasure, something you can see or touch. Is there anything else in that Bible? There is a journal page that is stuck in the Bible here. April 22nd. One of the most amazing things about knowing Jesus is the truth that he is alive and with me. My mind can hardly believe that Jesus died for my sin and that he did not stay dead. Jesus is the only person I've ever known that has not died. Okay, well, he did die, but he didn't stay that way. After three days, God rolled away the stone that was blocking the tomb, and Jesus walked out alive. When I read this story in the Bible, I realized that Jesus coming back to life is not a legend, a myth, or a fairy tale. It's a historical fact. On the morning of the third day, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb where Jesus' body was. As she got closer, she saw that the stone covering the tomb had been rolled away and that Jesus' body was not inside. Mary ran as fast as she could to Peter and John to tell them that Jesus' body was missing. The two disciples went inside the tomb to look for Jesus and saw all that was left was strips of linen cloth. Peter and John went back home, but Mary stayed near the tomb and cried. Suddenly, she saw someone who she thought was the gardener, so she asked him if he knew where Jesus' body had gone. What she didn't know was that the person she was talking to was Jesus. He was standing right in front of her. As soon as he started to speak, she realized that it was him. She was so excited to see Jesus and that he had come back to life. Jesus then went to see more of his friends. He appeared to two of the disciples as they were traveling on a road heading toward a village. Then to Peter as he was hanging out in Jerusalem. Jesus also visited 10 of the disciples when they were hiding in a room together. Then. A week later, he came back to see them. But this time, two more disciples were there with them. Jesus wanted everyone to know that they didn't need to be scared. He was alive, and he would always be with them, no matter what. Jesus appeared to more and more people before he went back up to heaven. But before he left, he told the people that loved him, I am always with you. This made everyone so happy because they realized that Jesus wasn't dead. He was always going to be alive and with them no matter what. And that makes me so happy as well because I know that Jesus is with me wherever I go because Jesus is alive right now. did Jesus pay the price for every wrong thing I've done, but he's also alive? Yep. God brought Jesus back to life after three days. Incredible. Although scientifically impossible, somehow I believe what Great Grandpa Piff Paff says about the Bible is true. Hmm. Is there anything else in the Bible? Yes, there's a little side note here. It says, you will see after looking among the rocks, not all the doors and doorknobs have locks. <gasps> Wait, Parker, I think it's talking about a secret door in here. Um, but how do we find the secret door? It's not like we had x-ray vision. In fact, Yes, I do. Now, let me take a look around. Hmm. 
Now, there's nothing behind this wall here. Nothing under the floor. Hmm. Where would this go? Parker, wait! There's something behind this part of the wall. But how do we get in? In the movies, there was always some kind of secret lever for a button. Well, there must be. What did the clue say again? Something about looking among the rocks. Mm -hmm. So we must find some some rocks, some loose rocks, or a couple that. Oh, oh, oh! Who put that loose rock down there? Stevie, oh. Stevie, look, look! You found a secret door! I did? I mean, I did, of course. It looks to be a passageway. But it looks very dark and very, very creepy. There's probably sp sp I know, I know, spiders. Listen, get the flashlights. Let's see where it goes. me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he me he can do anything if i run over here if i run over there god is everywhere and he loves me when i look up 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 i know he's real when i look down 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 i believe what i found when i look in god's word and i search for him he rewards me cause he He's real when I look down, down, down. I believe what I found. When I look in God's word and I search for him, he rewards me. Cause he loves me.